Hi, welcome to the Game Splanner. I'm Jeff the Game Splanner, and today I'm Game Splaining Rolled West. So, Rolled West is a game from Tasty Minstrel Games. It came out a couple of years back. It is a roll and write version of Gold West. If you've watched my Game Splay of Gold West, you, you'll probably have an idea of how this game actually runs. So, in Gold West, you are selecting a hex from somewhere that's available that will give you some resource. You're then using those resource to purchase areas of land or these other areas. What's happening with this, instead of those hexes in that board, is you are rolling four dice, using those dice to select an area that you wish to build in. If you have two of the same die, I believe it's the wood or the trees, um, if you have two of them, you can build twice in that line. You have the ability to turn in uh, combinations of, uh, of each resource to get particular, uh, in the main version it's cards, but it's um, these el elements that are quite high points. You can go into the city or the town, which um, gives points for various things. There's nine different things to choose from, or you can export those goods. I really like this game. I've, I was really impressed with how easily it plays. It is a roll and write, so it's just roll, write some stuff down. This is one of those ones where what you roll is just for you, but you have the ability to pick one die between when you roll and when you roll again. So with however many players there are, they're going to roll each time. So you can choose one of the die that have been rolled and write that down in between your turns. And it's kind of like banking a resource. On your turn, you have four dice. You can bank one of those dice. So that it's possible to get to the end of the game, which it does only run, run for six rounds, but you could have 10 things banked by the time we get to that last turn in which case it actually enables you to do a whole bunch of stuff. But the problem is that the top parts of that board, if someone else has gone there first or done the thing first, you actually have to cross that off. So it's not available to you for future turns. I think that's actually a really wonderful element of this game that, that you can be working towards stuff, but someone gets there first, you can't get that. You have to walk, then work towards something else. And you never quite know exactly what other people are working towards, what they're going to go for, but there's always that, oh, I need to spend the resource I have to be able to do the thing, otherwise this person might get it and I won't be able to. It's a funky little push-pull. This is a quick game. The I believe that my games play, I actually played the full game. It is only two as a two-player version, but I've actually played the full game with two players. And so... Um, the rate at which you can get this one out and get it played and get it back in the box is quite fast comparatively with other games. So look, I think that I will leave that there. You'll see that the game explanation is quite short as well. Uh, it, it's, it's an easy game to move through. And so I'll leave it there with you to have a look at my game explanation, game explanation get a feel for it, get a do I like this? Do I not like this? Do I want to get into this and see what you think? If you have any games that you would like to be gamesplained, please shoot me an email to thegamesplainer at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplainer to keep up to date with the games I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.